Hello friends, today we are going to learn hexagon shape, how we can find the distance and displacement, okay. I will be showing this, okay, uh, it is for class 9, class 11, okay. So, it is a very interesting question, the object is started from A, it went to the B, then C, D, E, F, again A, okay. We will take it case 1, for, totally I am going to do with 3 case, uh, okay. Uh, so, object is started from A, end with A, okay. So, A to A, okay. So, all the distance will be, it's a, each turn, every time is taken 60 degree turn, okay. So, actually when he is moving A to B, 60 degree turns, then B to C is made 60 degree turn, every 500 meter, he made as a 60 degree turn, okay. So, at uh, when he is reaching at D, he is taken as a 60 degree turn, when he is reaching at E, 60 degree turn, when he is reaching at F, 60 degree turn, okay. Uh, so, actually, it is uh, 6 times of 60 degree, we will get as a 360 degree. So, where he started, he came the same position, okay. So, now the he started from here, he went to B, C, D, E, F, again he came to the A, okay. So, what is a distance, what is a displacement, okay. So, displacement, there is no displacement here, it is 0 distance, okay. Yeah, so distance 500 times of 6, every 500 meter is taken the turn, okay. That means 500 times of 6, 500 times of 6, 500, 500, 500, 500, 500, the path length will be, it's a 500 times of 6, it's a, actually, it's a 3000 meter will get as a distance, okay. So, it is a very, very simple way, okay. The another thing I am going to find with the object is started from A, went to the B, went to the C, okay, and he stopped with D, okay. Now, he is in D position, okay. So, object is started from A, case 1, A to A, and case 2, A to D, he is moving from A to D, okay. So, 500, 500, 500. He is distance, actual length will be 3 times of 500, 500, plus 500, plus 500, okay. So, 3 times of 500, we will have 1500 meter as a distance, okay. Distance have 1500, actual length, it is a 1500. Now, what about the displacement? We have shortcut technique from center, I made as a triangle. From center, I made as a triangle for hexagon shape, okay. That means, everything will be equilateral triangle. How I getting its equilateral triangle? Reason, so from here, this is 60, okay. So, I am showing one, this 60, okay, actually one line will be 180 degree, okay. So, 60 when means it is 120, exact, it is 120 degree, okay, from 120 off of. So, it will be 60, it is 60, okay. So, all the angle will be going to, it is totally 360 degree, so this fully 360 degree, so each will be 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60. So, it is a equilateral triangle, I proved it is a equilateral triangle, that means all sides will be equal. So, this is 500 this is 500, this is 500, so this is 500, okay, displacement from starting to ending, okay, so it is a 1000, so we have, we have 500 plus 500, so our displacement will be 1000, so again we got A to D, okay, now it is a little complex, we are going as a another shape, it is a C section, so object started from A, went to the B and it is reached with the C, okay, so, A, B, C, okay. So, A to C event, uh, so distance will be 500, 500, so distance will be 1000, okay, 1000 meter. So, what about the displacement? Displacement is this, okay. So, this, how we are going to find this, okay. I have very, very short good technique. So, it is A vector 500, it is a B vector 500, okay. So, this angle between the two vector will be 60 degree, okay. So, this vector I am taken here. So, I am taken this as a 500. I moved vector from one place to another place easily you can move. So, this I am taken as a 500. This I am taken as a 500. A vector 500, B vector 500. What about the resultant? Okay, as we know parallelogram law vector. So, resultant is equal to root of A square plus B square plus 2AB cos theta. A is 500, B is 500. What about the angle? Angle between the two vector is 60 degree, cos 60, okay. So, 500 square plus 500 square plus 2 times of A. A is a 500, B is a 500, okay. Cos theta. Cos is, uh, cos theta will be cos 60, cos 60 will be 1 by 2. So, this getting cancelled, okay. 
uh, 500 square 500 square 500 square okay so we'll get as a uh, 25 2000 uh, sorry it's a uh, uh, 25000 uh, sorry 254 zeros will get okay so same thing 254 zeros will get okay plus 254 zeros will get okay this addition will get 75 times of 4 zeros okay so it's a root of 75 one two three four uh, four zeros we got okay again this it is a five into five twenty five twenty five into three okay uh, into hundred into hundred okay so we are we can take it as a five hundred as a common so five hundred times of root three is a displacement okay we use parallelogram law vector to find the displacement thank you.